And right off the top this noon, two separate shootings claiming the lives of two South Florida teenagers. A 16-year-old died after being shot several times last night. A 17-year-old shot and killed just walking home from school yesterday. It was my child. Just asking God for strength right now. And I want those who did to be brought to justice. And new at noon, we're hearing from the mother of one of those teens shot and killed as the community calls for an end to all of this gun violence. And those shootings involving those two teens happened in both Miami Gardens as well as Miami, just hours apart from each other. And we have team coverage today on these shootings. Local 10 News reporter Erica Rayco is in Northwest Miami Dade, where the Miami Gardens teen was shot and killed when he went to school. And local 10 News reporter Ben Kennedy is covering the Miami teen killed. Let's start things off with Erica. Tragic day. It is. We're at American Senior High School right now. This is where Rondrick Sweeting's mom says she had just transferred he and his 15-year-old brother to go to school this school year. This is now where grief counselors are helping those who knew the gifted student who excelled in science cope. They will always give me a kiss and I tell them I love them and behave in school. That is the last time Tammy Sweeting saw her 17-year-old son, Roderick Sweeting, alive. He died moments before walking back in their Miami Gardens apartment from school yesterday. I was lying there between two cars with blood just pouring out of him. And his brother said again, Rod, get up. And he had his hand over his head like this and just shook his head. Like Roderick was with his younger brother. Their mom heard the gunshots right outside her window. They say you're not supposed to question God, but that's where I'm at right now in my life. Why? Why? This is a pain she's had to endure before. This in her hand, a gift to her in 2011 after her other son, Anthony Thompson, was killed. He was visiting his godmother and was struck in the head by a spray bullet. Miami Gardens police have not named a suspect or said if they have leads as to why Sweeting was gunned down. Superintendent of Schools Alberto Carvalho tweeted this message out, calling it shameful, hurtful, and unacceptable. Lose my child. Just asking God for strength right now. And I want those who did to be brought to justice. She says she doesn't want any harm done to them. She just wants justice, something she still has not gotten in the case of Roderick's older brother. That mother just told me that she and Roderick's family will get together at the apartment complex where Roderick had just gotten off the school bus, was walking home when he was shot and killed. They're going to meet there at 8 o'clock tonight for a candlelight vigil. We're live in Northwest Miami-Dade. Erica Rayco, Local 10 News. I feel for that mother. All right, well, let's turn right now. Thank you, Erica.